Hello everyone, so today is Friday, November, I have no ideas, I gotta look, November the 6th. Um, as you can tell, my mood is a little bit different. I have come off the Zyprexa, it's been a week since I've been off of it, and I feel really good off of it. I'm not necessarily in a manic state because I, um, well, let me take that back. I don't think I'm in a big of a manic state. Like, my spending has gone astronomical. Probably within the last three days, I've spent well over $500, if not more than that. Um, just buying people presents. Buying my husband's stuff, buying other people's stuff. And it's because I feel so good. I'm just like, I want to do something. Which I know is really bad because, of course, who has the money to be buying people a lot of stuff? Not I. So, um, that kind of worries me. Sorry, no, you're getting cleavage shots. I'm trying not to, but I'm trying to make a video um, before we leave to go to church because tonight we have Life Recovery, and Life Recovery is a ministry of the church that my husband and a co-worker of his are the leaders of, and it is for people who are struggling through life, whether it be through addiction, um, like drug, drug and alcohol, or depression, anxiety. Um, any type of life situation that you're going through and you need help, you need coping mechanisms. So, it's really good for me to be a part of. Um, so I really, I say I like it, enjoy going there because I could say that today because I'm in a better mood. And I'm also very emotional today. Like, I've just been busting out crying and I don't even know why. Like, the song God Bless the USA, I was watching a video of some kids with flags waving it and I just started blubbering like a baby. Don't know why. Um, I listened to this song my brother asked me to listen to. It was called Monsters by, um, oh my goodness. I can't think of this singer-songwriter name. James Blunt, that's it. So it's called Monsters, and it was a song that he wrote for his dad who was dying of, like, kidney failure or something. I just blubbered crying at that, and normally I don't cry, like... You know, I usually just try and hold it in. Like, if I'm crying, it's usually because I'm angry or I just can't take it no more. But I've been crying just at the drop of a hat today um, and last night. So, I don't know. My mood my mood felt okay yesterday, but I actually feel really super happy today. I don't know why. I think maybe it's just because the Zyprex is out of my system now, so I'm not in a slump. But what scares me is without being on any medication because right now I'm on no mental medication I know in the next couple of days I'm going to hit a wall now whether that wall is going to be an up or down I don't know I really wish it would just stay like this like where I didn't have to have medication and I could you know feel okay um unfortunately this is very few and far between so this is what I would call a good day I don't have lots of good days a month I may have less than a handful I'm usually on a mountain or in a valley. I don't have no in-between. There's no interstate running. It's down in the pit, up on the mountain. So, what are you doing, dog? Maggie, no. No, no. Get off the keyboard. What are you doing? Get over here. My stinking dog is trying to move the blanket on top of the keyboard and sleep on top of it. If y'all want to see the dogs, let me turn this. There's my doggies. I know you probably really don't care about my doggies, but they're my babies because me and my husband can't have kids. We've never been able to have kids. We've been together for 17 years. We have not had kids. Um, are you wanting to be buried under there? Is that what you want? There you go. So anyway, um, sorry, my bottle. I have the phone propped up on a bottle of water because um, after my, I know I didn't, wasn't able to take the phone into the doctor's office and stuff with me, but um, I don't remember the last video that I uploaded. Everything's kind of been a blur. But um, according to my calendar, which I've been writing stuff on specifically, I had a therapy appointment on Tuesday with Jim. No, I didn't. Never mind. I didn't have a therapy appointment. I thought I was supposed to. He never called me because it was supposed to be a phone appointment. He never called me, so we didn't have a phone appointment. Um, I do have that I was very angry that day, like very angry and upset. 
I put that Jim did not call. I left a message for him. Um, I did not get to go vote that night because Tyler, um, somebody backed into our car and caused a dent, like a busted the bumper. I mean, it's not severe, but they still busted it. Somebody backed into our car and did that, made him late coming home. So we didn't even get to vote. Um, I was very angry, was crying because I was so angry and upset. Said some choice words about the man who hit the car, and that's not a Christian thing to do. Like, I would never do that, but that night, I just did. Um, so, I had to ask for a lot of forgiveness for that. But, um, the next day, which was Wednesday, I put that, um, at 9.30, that was when me and Tyler both had appointments. So, I went and saw my like my regular doctor Tyler had his diabetes appointment um and then we decided at that appointment that we were 99 percent sure that the Zyprexa has caused the significant weight gain and the high blood sugar that I've been having because I've been having high blood sugar lately so we did a hemoglobin a1c to check what my um, a1c level was and my weight at that time I had ended up gaining another five or six pounds I don't know anyway by that time I was up 30 pounds in three weeks so I mean there was something significant um, she said that she's pretty sure that it is due to the medication that Zyprexa that I was taking and not due to fluid around my heart or anything because my levels when they took them at the ER on Saturday night everything was coming back that my heart was okay like there wasn't fluid around it According to the chest CT, they did not see any fluid in my lungs. Um, so, this is what it is. She can't really do much until after the Holter monitor, which I've got to wear that Holter monitor for two weeks. I think I told you all about that, but I'm not really sure. Um, but I've got to wear the Holter monitor for two weeks or the cardiac event monitor. That'll be put on Monday. I've got to go back to cardiology and have them put that on me Monday. Um, and then I'll start the two weeks on that. Um... I did have my tilt table test on Wednesday as well. Went That was a four-hour appointment, and I passed out during the tilt table test. However, she said apparently I pass out weird. I don't know. She said that the woman said it looked like I just fell asleep, even though my whole body just dropped like when they tilted me up. I stood there for a few minutes, and I had told her that um, I felt like really jelly-legged, and then she said a few minutes later, I just like slumped down to the ground. She, but she said it looked like I fell asleep. So I don't really know how other people pass out. <laughs> but apparently I do it different. So um, she said right now, what because my heart rate did not bottom out or my blood pressure didn't bottom out when I passed out. She said she definitely saw a difference in uh, a, like a drop in the heart rate and blood pressure. But it didn't bottom out like you would think with syncope. So she said she wants to treat me for vasovagal syncope, but she can't put me on a beta blocker because I have to be off of it for the cardiology um, event, the cardiac event monitor. So she gave me a whole list of things that I need to drink 80 ounces of water a day. I have to do a 10 minute brisk walk um, daily and I have to wear knee high compression stockings, which I just got those in today. I don't, ugh, there they are. Sorry, I know you're seeing my fat rolls too, but it is what it is. This is my channel. These are videos for me, and if other people happen to see them, then hello. Um, but this is just a way that I can talk to myself and keep an eye on how my daily moods are. I know I'm supposed to be vlogging daily, and apparently I've sucked at it really bad because I haven't posted a vlog. But um, today I'm feeling really good, and I feel like talking, and that's good. Hopefully I can stick to more daily vlogging. I'm hoping to get better at that. But anyway, um, so that's the stuff that the list that the lady at the dysautonomia clinic gave me and said that she can't really do any more. She wants to put me on a beta blocker, but she knows that I can't get on the beta blocker yet. But I am to call her as soon as that as soon as we have the results of the cardiac event monitor. So we'll know that. So right now I'm kind of like in limbo until we do the two weeks of the cardiac event monitor. I got my A1C results back today. The nurse called me and said that I am a 6.2, which is considered pre-diabetic. So they have an appointment set up for me at the beginning of December. 
that I'll go back in, we'll recheck my A1C, see if it's dropped any, see if it's gotten higher or where it is, and then we'll be able to treat from there um, if it is prediabetes and they want to go ahead and start treating it. But again, we're pretty sure that it's due to the medication and not to like anything. I know like you can be pre-diabetic or diabetic when you're fat. It usually happens because excess weight is that. However, I've never had a problem with my blood sugar. So we're going to kind of see again if this will show it's medicine or if it's not. I did order a, um, what do you call it? Glucose monitor. I don't know why I lost the name of the monitor. My husband is diabetic and uses it. But anyway, I ordered a glucose monitor for me. Um, I did it so that way his um, syncs up to his insulin pump. So I don't want to have to keep hitting cancel, 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 and throw off his numbers or something. So I just went ahead and got one for me. It was like $9 from Walmart, seriously. But it's because the test strips are so much. But I'm using my husband's test strips since it's the same brand. And he has boxes and boxes of test strips. So... I just got a $9 meter from Walmart having it shipped to the house. Yes, I could have gone to Walmart and gotten one, but in my little bit of manic stage where I've been ordering tons of stuff, I just went ahead and got one. So it should be here sometime soon. And then I'll start checking my blood pressure. So, not blood pressure. I need to check my blood pressure. I got to find my wrist cuff check my blood pressure i want to start taking my vitals daily once in the morning once at night just so i can keep an eye on those so i do need to find my blood pressure cuff i'm not sure where it is but the glucose monitor blood sugar monitor should be here soon so i'm going to check it several times a day that way when i go in a month to follow up um for the pre-diabetes appointment i'll know all these blood sugar readings i can give to her and then when we do the a1c again we can kind of see so I think that that's pretty much got y'all caught up to where I am now. Um, I did something bad. Okay, so um, Bath and Body Works was having a major sale on their aromatherapy items. They're all marked down to $5.95 today. Um, online and in store. Well, of course, I don't really go out of the house much. Um, especially because I'm not feeling like this normally. Um, like today, I'd... I don't care about going out of the house. Let's go. Let's go do something. Let's go party. I'm really feeling, again, I want to say I'm not feeling manic because I know I'm not on a, medi on a medicine to make me manic, but this is kind of the same way that I was feeling where I was just up for like days at a time and was like, let's excited and what out. So maybe I am going into a stage of mania, but I don't know. I guess it's because Zyprex is out of my system and that pulled me down and made me so groggy. I don't know what, but, um, Anyway, Bath and Body Works was having a sale, and I went in and placed my order. I told my husband, I was like, look, I know I've been spending a lot of money lately. Probably going to spend some more at Bath and Body Works. He was like, why didn't you just order from there? And I was like, yes, I ordered hand soaps, but I order hand soaps usually about every six months because that's the ones that I use on the in the kitchen and in the bathrooms, and they usually last for about six months because I buy five at a time. No, six at a time when they do their six for 24 sales. So I'll buy six at a time and they usually last for six months. And so I had just ordered some at the end of last month. But anyway, I was like, no, this is aromatherapy and it's usually, you know, pretty expensive, but they're having a sale on it and I want to be able to buy some of it. So the first order that I was going to place was for like $74. Um, so that was like 10 items, I think, because when you add in tax and shipping. And so I was like, okay, that's not a bad price. I went in to do the thing and I clicked off something and it went back and I thought I had lost it. So when I went to look back at my card, it said zero. I was like, oh snap, now I got to go put all the stuff in. But of course I couldn't remember what all I'd put in there because I didn't save it. I was just scrolling through and clicking what I wanted. So I went to do that again and this time apparently I ended up putting in 14 items instead of 10. So my total came to like 105 with tax and I was like, uh, oh well, you know. I guess I can always gift the extra items or I can just hold them for, you know, a last minute present or something. I don't know. But anyway, I went ahead and processed that order. And so after that order processed, I was like, it's a little bit higher than what I wanted to pay. I went and looked at my email. The first order went through. I know. I was like, um, 
Okay, hubby is going to be mad at me. So I wrote him an e or a text message him. And I was like, um, I don't know how this happened. But I ended up ordering twice from Bath and Body Works. First order was this much. Second order was this much. I think when I clicked the order button and it went off the screen, it went ahead and processed the order. And I was just stupid and didn't realize that it did that. So I went back in and reordered again. But it ordered more items than what the first one was. So, I was like, please forgive me. Like, I'm sorry. I know, like, I'm just, sp like, spending money right and left. And, you know, my husband, he's, like, a really, really, I don't want to say tightwad, but he's really, really thrifty and really, really likes to save and put extra money on bills. Or and he's like, all this money we could put on our car, like, to pay off the car. And I was like, okay, it's fine. I, like, I'll stop spending stuff. But when I feel like this, it's like... I don't know. It just makes me feel good to spend money. Like to just buy people stuff. And buy myself stuff. <laughs> I, I don't know. So I know that's the dangers. You know when I'm in a manic state. Is because my thoughts are not processing correctly. And so everything just seems like it's a high. And I want to go spend money. I want to go do stuff. I want to go. So let's go sell our house. And let's get a, a like a delivery truck and let's make it into a house and we can live in it and we can just go off to places and we can just live on the road and I mean just really far out ideas that are like mm, let's rewind that's what they tell me let's rewind and back that up because that's not doable so I'm having to learn to try and figure out what's doable but I don't know, my mind just gets scattered when it's like this and I have just tons of thoughts and things I want to do. So today with all the energy that I had, I straightened up the house. I um, did some laundry. I filled out my organizer. Um, I actually, sorry for the booby shot again, but I actually went in and I don't know if y'all can see this. Maybe I need to just turn it around on the actual phone. Well, it won't let me do that, but anyway my organizer so I was filling out all this stuff I put some Bible verses that stay positive um, were right there under the get it done I put I want to lose that 35 pounds that I had gained I want to gain some strength and endurance I want to get the house in order because of course when I was in that huge five months of a depressive episode it was like I didn't want to do squat it took me a week two weeks to do the dishes i just let them build up and build up and build up and i would go in there every couple of days throw soap on them spray them off with water and let them sit in the sink and now they've all rusted like they've got those brown rust spots so now i'm actually gonna have to go spend more money to buy more silverware more dishes um i think my food is here so let me let you go